difficult for me to realize that because I have the same weather. Uh-huh. So yeah, yeah. I'm sleeping outside of the van now. I'm actually sleeping, I won't say it over the internet, but I'm sleeping on the uh, blacktop surface outside the van mm-hmm. in my zippered envelope. Mm, you don't have much of a choice. You know? No, I do not. No. Inside the van is unbearable. Absolutely unbearable. Why? You know what? I was. It's it's, it's it's very for it's very easy for me to understand. You know, living in a van and being covered with spider bites and having mm-hmm. to having to go under I don't know how many layers of uh, envelope. Clean. It is, and it's yeah, it's eight layers, and um, then you have to put on underneath that a uh, one-piece um, jumpsuit, which is insulated, which means it's really thick, mm-hmm. and sweat, sweatpants, and I made these little gloves, uh, they're very large gloves actually, mm-hmm. to keep the spiders from biting my hands, because my hands are just totally ravaged on the top, in fact, I'm itching right now as I'm talking to you, uh-huh. uh, uh, so yeah, yeah so, it's good. Uh-huh. so you know, it's when I said, uh, you know, when you say, oh, I am going you know, it's not, my reaction was not because it didn't go, that's not that, because I figured that something was going on, so that's not, uh, excuse me, I'm sorry, mm-hmm. so, I can't hear up my, I can't hear up my nose, excuse me, go ahead, so, uh, so, you know, it's not because, you know, uh, I knew that something was going on, so it's not because, it's not because I was disappointed, you know, uh, uh-huh. well, I'm very concerned about you, especially when I get those kinds of emails that you sent yesterday and before. But I'm saying, um, this is not a joke, it's, 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 it's no joke. I know that I don't have much time left with all I went through. It's crazy what I went through. And it is a miracle I'm still alive, in fact. Yes, yes. I understand. I don't think you're making anything up. I, I take you literally. I don't think you have any reason to misrepresent, and I don't think it's in your heart to do, to, um, to try to deceive. I just don't think you have it in you. Right. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm really, the greatest issue with me, and, and as I said in the email, I just, I think that you are a, a um, exceptional individual. And, um, and people, mm-hmm. they're, they're just so low that I, you know, I, I really don't expect anything from anyone because they're just creatures. I don't know how I ever ended up in this world. I don't know how you did either, but <laughs> they're just creatures of a low, they're, they're just creatures of a lower nature. That's all I can say. Right. And they're just totally taken over by demons. And I have, you know, no affinity for any of them. Um, I love them actually. Uh, so anyway. You know, I think an association with you would be great. So you know that. Mm-hmm. So that is not the issue. No. The issue is a fi- the issue is a financial issue. Yeah. I have a feeling that if I were to take the first step and cross over the line and say, okay, let's put some things into motion. We're going to go ahead and do this. I'll be there on Monday and I'll see you. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you. All right. Now, what happens is this: is that I have probably just about enough money to get to New York. That's about it. And then. You know, then there's going to be more draw on you. It will last me another two or three weeks. Okay, so there's going to be more of a draw on you, and there's there's a question of whether or not you're willing to send any more money. And I'm not sure that you are, and I'm not going to fall before it. I'm just laying out the facts right now. So, you know, I go there, and I'm broke, but basically when I arrive, but I have a very nice friend, and now we're going to be looking at this Deborah in a motel room. Now that doesn't really inspire me uh, to do anything, but it does get the cats out of the heat because I really think, I think I'm going to cause them serious damage if I don't do something. I got another month of this heat. Oh, wait. It goes on, it oh, goes on until mid-August. Is, yeah. this, is only, this is only the third day. It started on Monday. We've gotten three days of this now. I got another 30 days. I'll never do it. I'll never make it. I know. I may have I may have already damaged them already. Poor Boots, that Maine Coon, I love him so much. 
as long as I was applying the method, I'd never lost with it. So that's a, that's a very high, why are you laughing? That's no, because what you said is what, uh, I'm laughing, it's, don't get me wrong, okay? This is, first off, you need to remember my mother tongue is French. When I said I let you go, I was not think, it's not what I, what I said is not what I had in my mind. That's okay. okay, that was in the last segment, we're on to the next one. Um, yeah, so now, what I was laughing is if you apply the method. If I what? If you apply the method, that's why I was laughing. If he does apply the method, everything is fine. Even if he does. <laughs> I don't understand the last thing. If you apply the what? The method. Like you said, it, like you said, casino is fine as long as you apply the method. Method? What's that? Method. Method. Oh, yeah. Well, well in the casino, <laughs> in the casino, uh, there's, there's less latitude for um, varying, you know, your strategy. And it's pretty much cut and dry. It's very, it's very straightforward. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I guess... Um, I could probably just walk out after a few losses and take the loss, and that wouldn't be applying the method. The method requires you stay in there and keep at it. Uh, yeah, right. But um, in the uh, money management options trading, there is a lot of variability there. You can do some shortcuts and do some things you shouldn't do, and that could be fatal. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, yeah, the casino thing is, is, is quick cash. And it can happen instantaneous, um, and I say it, but very quickly after a client has been, you know, shown, has shown up or just met, has met, it'll be the same day, I can guarantee that. And if they stay on for a few more days or just a few minutes, not months, yeah. years, it's days. No, no, it's okay. not months with S nor years. We both no. understand. Okay, the, the thing was, okay, what I had in mind when I said, okay, he needs me, but he, he needs a woman like me, but with more money. The reason why I said it the way I said it, I need to explain, is because here I am, you know, there is two options with me. It's, like, it's either dealing with Deborah or dealing with me. And dealing, mm -hmm. dealing with me, you parachute yourself in a one-bedroom apartment with me. I'll shoot myself with a one-bedroom apartment with you? No! Parachute. Parachute. Not shoot. Parachute. Oh, parachute. Oh, okay, that's different. Okay. Yeah, parachute. But um, you see, but, you know, it's not, it's not that, it's, it's like, in, in other words, is when I offer this parachute. being, yes, yes, okay. hello, hello, when I offer yeah, yeah, this, when I offer this in the first place, it's not because I'm a bad woman, but because I am very tight, and that's what I have. And you know, it's like okay, a thing is uh, is. I've never thought you were a bad woman, by the way. So you can put that thought out of your mind. Mm -hmm. But I, I understand. You understand. But you know, it's you know, it's it's. it's is um, in other words, uh, it really is. We don't have much uh, latitude. That's that's what mm -hmm. I was trying yeah. to. And, and, and do you see, Martin? Do you, do you see how losing this last client, losing that commission money, well, changed the picture? Well, of course. In all situations, that that would be a guaranteed outcome because he knew that I was near the breaking point. Either way, I was going to make it or break it. And if he could hold me back from that, then the chances were good. My destruction was almost assured. Listen, listen honey, look, look um, it's, not that, it's, was, it's not difficult for me. Uh -huh. Look how much was, was, was um, uh, actually, uh, what's the term? Look how much was at stake. Look how much there was to lose, okay? Just look at it. It was huge, what? just huge. Uh -huh. If I didn't get that money, I was a dead man. Well, yeah. I didn't get it. If I would have gotten it, I would have been in a place right now for sure. Yeah. I would be making plans to start, you know, doing something with you. Uh, I may have actually moved directly toward you. I'm not sure, but I knew that as we approached July, and this was still in June, the weather was still manageable. But right. as we got close to July, 
that there was going to be last year. I think I, I think I told you about last year. When? During the, uh, from Ju from June tenth until uh, from July tenth to August tenth. Went 10th, to uh, I, I, stayed, I stayed in a ratty uh, Indian motel, which was six. Mm -hmm. It cost me eleven hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. I had about seventy five hundred dollars cash with me at that time. Mm -hmm. Um, and I was, you know, my spider bites were healing, but I had the cats in a nice, not nice, but in an air conditioned room. And so there was never any danger of what they're being exposed to now. And likewise, the year before that, you know, I lived in a nice little, it was, it was a nice little eight frame house in Pennsylvania out in the woods. So it was real cool. And they had their own place. Um, and it was never a time in the 13 years that I had the cats where they've ever been in danger like this. This is the first time. Mm -hmm. Okay. No way. And, and so I am really, really up against the wall right now. I've got to do something, uh, but yet my option. I, I just don't think they're ideal, but my situation is definitely not ideal. Yeah. So I'm near the I'm near the break point right now. I, I realize that. Right. I'm near the break point. That, that crazy that crazy black woman. I think she's just nuts in South uh, Carolina. Here, here's what she does, Martin. What? She's on pattern behavior right now. Here's what she does. Uh, every once a week, she'll send me an email. And I, I told her just send me emails and I'll answer you because I don't really answer my phone. I'm no way, because phone. phone expense. No it's, way. It's expensive. No okay. way, because uh, with the way she is, she wants to be nursed. The nurse, yeah, she's, you know. she's just a psycho. Uh, I've never known a nigger who wasn't the same. So, so she she calls me. Uh, she she demands that I call her. And I said, okay, I'll call. Her. And so I call her for day, and she she starts babbling on about, oh my friend won't let me send a chat. And, you know, talking. If I don't cut her off, she'll just keep rambling on some irrelevant issue. And I said, okay, look, here's what you do. You go to your broker. Ask him if he'll take a money order. Okay, if that doesn't work, you go back to your friend and bribe her. So I'll give you a hundred bucks if you'll let me write it. If you'll send a check to my, you know, if that doesn't work, try 150, yes. go to 200, 250. Yes. Just keep up in the ante until you find their yes. price. Yes. She, yes. Can't, she can't do anything on her own. She can't think. Yeah. And I, say, and I say, doesn't your husband have a checking account? Or is that the only, well, I'm going to suggest to her now, tell your husband to open up a bank, a checking account, okay? He won't do the heat. He won't be, be uh, blocked by the check system. They got this system in America. It's called CHEX. It's, it's a homeland security thing. And so they closed out her account. She can't get no one open. So you know, in the meantime, this has been going on for like how long? Oh, six I, weeks. I six don't. Weeks? I didn't count because I thought that uh, you know, it's, it's, it's you're not in a situation.